Day 8, welcome back. Today's lesson we're going to talk about the causes of World War II. Now you've done a little bit of the causes so far, but we're going to introduce another one. So we have looked at how Hitler um, wanted Germany to be reorganised, what he believed in, what Hitler and the Nazi party believed in, and we have also done a little bit about the end of World War I and the effect of the Treaty of Versailles, um, economic depression in Germany and things like that. And these are all definitely contributing factors to the start of World War II. Um, we're going to have a look at something Britain was involved in today and Neville Chamberlain, who was the Prime Minister at the time, decided to um, put into place a policy called appeasement. So appeasement basically means um, kind of like being nice to somebody. So if you appease somebody, you try and negotiate, you try and um, keep on their good side basically. And that is what Neville Chamberlain wanted to do with Hitler. So the situation is, people know who Hitler is, they know that he wants to expand his influence in Europe, and they also have heard of the Nazi party. And not many people um, know the extent of their beliefs, but they have an idea. They are scared of Hitler. They are worried that Germany is going to take over Britain. And so Neville Chamberlain decides to try and work with Hitler, try to appease him. Now it's not necessarily agreeing with Hitler, but it's almost like trying to trick him into being friends so that Germany doesn't invade Britain and then we don't get into being occupied by Nazi Germany. So what he does is he tries to negotiate, he tries to come up with an agreement and he was very heavily criticised for this. People thought you should stand up to Hitler, you should be tough against him, you shouldn't be trying to make friends with him. So that's just explaining to you what appeasement is. You're going to watch a more detailed video in today's lesson and basically all I want you to do is think about the four causes um, which we've already spoken about and about appeasement and think which one is most likely to start a war and then we'll get into the actual details of World War II. So if you have any problems at all, remember I'm always on Shimmer Homework, so send me a message.